Hi, my name is Charles Paulden. I'm a candidate for first district supervisor. Um, nice. I'm proud to be um, endorsed by Jimmy Phillips, who, who created the um, Santa Cruz graphics and was a, a beginning member of this uh, Pleasure Point surfing organization, the Pleasure Point Surf Association, among many other people in our community. I've worked for over 40 years with the Santa Cruz environmental um, communities, worked with Save uh, Lighthouse Field, Save Porter Cessnon, Save um, O'Neill Ranch, Save the Farm. I worked um, personally in, with Jan Butes, the former supervisor, to help save the windbreak in Pleasure Point for the Man Moran Butterfly Reserve. I worked with Jan Butes again when monster houses were threatening the community character of Pleasure Point to try to preserve our small cottage garden community. Good. Um, the supervisor, the current supervisor now came to me as a community activist, and I helped him to get into to get in to office. Now that he's in office, we seem to have a misunderstanding of what I was trying to do. He says that he cares about our community and that he cares about getting public input. I tried to get us a community um, museum and community center in the Pleasure Point Roadhouse. When it came time to get that, he didn't have a hundred out of $150 million, he didn't have any money for us to do that. Though he did was able to give more money to um, other areas. He says he cares about public input, but he gave $44 million in a no-bid contract in the middle of the night, unvetted with the community, to one of his campaign contributors. He's looking to spend four and a half million dollars to make the beautiful Schwan Lake area look more like the side of the river coming up by the boardwalk, not as beautiful. He took money that we had in the RDA plan for a bridge from Coffee Lane to Madison Lane to get people off the main roads, took that bridge money and he gave it to a project from Santa Cruz for a five million dollar bisecting of the green belt. When the people on 7th Avenue were concerned about a business in their community, he did not support them. So my difference with him is, yes, we have differences. We're two different choices. I'm for the people, the environment, the economy, and I hope that you will consider me as your supervisor. Thank you. Hello, my name is John Leopold, and I'm running for Santa Cruz County Supervisor in the Live Oak, Soquel, and Summit areas. I came to you four years ago uh, and ran a grassroots campaign, and hundreds of people came out. They contributed, they walked precincts, and we scored a major victory in my election in November of 2008. I'm coming back to you now in my re-election bid, and over the last three and a half years, I've tried to use the, the strategies that were so successful in that campaign to make county government be more responsive to the people. Uh, I have worked to involve people in uh, the community planning process. When we, when we plan for uh, the redevelopment area in Live Oak and Soquel, I worked to get 500 people to tell us how we should spend their tax money. When neighbors came to me and said that vacation rentals were dominating their neighborhoods and changing the very nature of our residential neighborhoods, I worked with them to create a vacation rental ordinance that not only brought order to our neighborhoods and preserved our residential neighborhoods, but also brought in a million dollars to our general fund each and every year. I think it's important as a county supervisor to protect the environment and as a member of the Local Area Formation Commission, uh, I worked with water agencies and community activists to come up with the first set of water policies that protect natural resources at that commission. Right now, I'm fighting to make sure that the people in Live Oak and Carbon Arrow have a chance to vote on the big desalinization plant that the city of Santa Cruz is proposing. Uh, we also have to look towards the future. And uh, in that redevelopment planning process where so many people got involved, uh, they told me that economic vitality was very important. And so I work with them to help create a position uh, where we have someone working at the county who thinks all day, every day, about the economic lives of the people who live here. I'm confident that we can create good jobs and protect the kind of quality of, of commercial space that we have here in Santa Cruz County. In my race, I'm walking uh, lots of precincts and lots of volunteers are helping me. I'm fortunate to have the support of so many. Uh, the majority of the 
County Board of Supervisors, the Santa Cruz City Council, the Capitola City Council, the Live Oak, SoCal, and uh, Mountain School Districts. Um, I'm proud to have the support of the Fire Board and the Port Commissioners, uh, the heads of every major uh, neighborhood organization in the district, as well as the business associations. They've all had a chance to work with me in these last three and a half years to help make our community better. I'm committed to continuing to work with you to ensure that county government works for you and, and does what you want rather than telling you how you should live your life. I look forward to working with you on my next term and uh, I hope that you'll take advantage of voting for John Leopold uh, this coming June 5th uh, for Santa Cruz County Supervisor. If you'd like to find out more about the campaign, please visit friendsofjohnleopold.com. That's friendsofjohnleopold.com. Thank you and I look forward to serving you. My name is Gary Richard Arnold. I'm running against the political machine in Santa Cruz County. Yes, there's a political machine, and it's a Malthusian political machine, meaning they're very interested in depopulation. When I went to the editorial board of the Santa Cruz Sentinel, I told them I didn't want their endorsement. The Santa Cruz Sentinel is stock, major stockholders includes the Bank of America that received TARP money and the Bill Gates Foundation. The Bill Gates Foundation is actively involved in the depopulation uh, around the world. Uh, their vaccinations in Africa that they give, the villagers run in the opposite direction. But the American people living in the Monterey Bay area that are subject to the chemtrails, uh, which is called Operation Cloverleaf, is totally ignored by this newspaper and by the Sierra Club and other people that are endorsing the machine candidates. When Louis Lee uh, Viejo came back from Harvard uh, University, he became mayor of uh, Watsonville, and he advocated putting the, the fluoride back in the water when the people voted against it. All of these people are endorsing my opponent, John Leopold. John Leopold did away with the appeals board, putting all of the power in back into the uh, supervisors, where they make the law, they set the executive's uh, uh, employment of it, and then they judge it also. This is a dictatorial uh, system of government which they're adopting. They have a contract with ICLEI. ICLEI is a front for the World Bank. Um, th these are the same people that PG&E came in with uh, that put the scientific weaponized spy meters that's on every house and business in the community. Uh, David Petraeus, the head of the CIA, had bragged three weeks ago that they no longer need warrants because they know that everything that's going on in your house. These people, the, the sheriff, that used his uh, uh, sheriffs to uh, enforce putting the, uh, uh, these meters on your house instead of uh, protecting the people uh, went along with ICLEI. Um, the organizations, you look at the political machines and then the endorsements back and forth. The ACLU is headed by uh, Andrew uh, Romero. The purpose-driven churches are run by Rick Warren. Both of these people are members of the Council on Foreign Relations. They're modulating you, they're attacking you with the chemtrails and the fluoride, and they're putting you in, they're incarcerating you in a way, shape, and form with the electronic grid. John Leopold is a rubber stamp. He'll do the same thing that the machine has been doing for a long time. Vote for the man against the machine. Uh, it's, it's, it's very easy. Your liberty and probably your life depends on it. If you go along with the machine, uh, you will lose the liberty, not only for yourself, but for your children. Vote for Gary Richard Arnold. Water is the most critical issue that this county faces. And right up there, number one with water, is problems and issues relating to our youth. Those are the two things that I'm really concerned about. In reference to water, every water system in this county is under stress. Uh, City of Santa Cruz, Soquel Creek, uh, <laughs> Uh, Power Valley Water Management Agency. Now, one of those questions that I posed to uh, Supervisor Simon relates to water, and I please, uh, anybody out there listening, please read the question. What is the real cause of our water problem, and what does the present supervisor you know, think about does that? Does that answer your question, caller? How can a supervisor, in view, having an overview of this gigantic problem, impact, say, economic development in the county? What do we have to be concerned about here and everywhere people have to be concerned about this or the leaders have to be concerned about it, is the concept of self-sustainability. What we have to do here 
is to have uh, environmentally sensitive, socially responsible, self-sustaining economic development and utilization of our human, physical, and natural resources. Our activities here have to be uh, 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 targeted, economic development activities, on a basis where we're going to be able to sustain them. Now, for, as an example of this, and this might sound kind of radical, but the Measure J and, and the, the common in terms of agriculture, what we want to do here is preserve our agricultural land. However, I submit that, that agriculture has changed here qualitatively from when that mandate was first established. And you know, when we were talking about saving our agricultural land, we were thinking in terms of uh, uh, orchard land. Thousands of acres of orchard land has been transformed into uh, converted into berry production. Now, the water requirements of berry production are around four times the amount of what orchard land is. And as I mentioned, I feel one of the most critical issues that we have to face here is water. Uh, so to the extent that our agricultural production cannot be self-sustaining, given this new definition of agriculture, uh, in the way, and possibly in how it's been redefined to now require water-intensive uh, uh, berry production as opposed to orchard use, maybe we have to re-examine this. But okay, self-sustainability, well, I believe, is, is uh, the objective. I think it's going to be interesting to see uh, how your campaign takes off, especially with the people who you want to be involved not contributing money. And I want to give you the opportunity to just give the phone number out one more time for people who do want to get involved with your campaign. My name is Doug Deach. My phone number is 476-7662. I want to be your instrumentality. I want to serve this community. But in order to do that, I don't need your money, but what I need is your help. And, uh, and not only do I need your help, but that's the only basis that I'll do this. If there are not people out there who want to get behind me, and uh, participate in this community and uh, try to make it a better place through me and helping me, then uh, I'm well, not going to do the job and I won't be able to. Thank you. Hi, my name is Zach Friend and I'm running for the second district county supervisor position. I just wanted to take a second to thank you for taking some time out to listen to my thoughts on the issues. The second district encompasses portions of the city of Capitola, the city of Watsonville, all of Aptos, Rio Del Mar, Seacliff, Seascape, uh, La Selva Beach, Coralitos, and Summer Freedom. You know, local elections really do matter, as we've seen at the state and national level, with all the infighting and sort of the political bickering back and forth, the place that we can make a real difference is at the local level. And this is one of the reasons why I think uh, that it's important that we elect local leaders that really do, do care about our community. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I, I grew up in San Diego and I was fortunate to come here uh, to Santa Cruz to school. I went to Cabrillo and I went to UC Santa Cruz studying American history. I got a job in local government and in fact I've worked in public service my entire adult life. I went to Georgetown for my master's in public policy and met my wife there. I got to work for Congressman Sam Farr in Congress as well as Senator Tom Daschle in the White House Council of Economic Advisors. But anybody who's grown up near the coast knows that at some point you got to come back to the coast and the opportunity for me ended up with the Santa Cruz Police Department where I've been there for the last, basically the last decade. In my role there, I, I work as a crime analyst for the agency. I manage a $23 million budget. I also serve as a press information officer for the agency. I, I've really worked there to try and bring transparency and accountability to uh, the agency and to the local community. I've, I've worked to develop the iPhone app and brought the predictive policing program. But mainly what I've tried to do is make sure that, the lo that our local police department was available and accessible uh, for all of you within the community. The question comes up, why would someone want to run for local office? Well, I mean, it's a valid question, especially with all the challenges we face, especially with the realignment from the, count, from the state down to the county and the federal government down to local governments. But I see all of those challenges as opportunities. In fact, as I've been out meeting with voters over the last six months, I've learned about some of the issues that they have. For example, I met a single mom that lives uh, in the South County that told me about some of her transportation issues. It's very hard for her with the extra hour that she spends in traffic to be able to afford daycare. I think that we can do better than that for her. I think that what we can do is change the political debate so it's more focused on policy and we're not focused on trying to score cheap political points and instead we're really focusing on how can we make people's lives better. How do we do that? We improve infrastructure like the local roads. We improve public safety by having more sheriff's deputies on the street and we ensure that we preserve the open spaces and prime ag land within our community. That's why I've been endorsed by the current and retiring Supervisor Ellen Peary, the Sheriff, uh, Phil Wolak, as well as Congressman Sam Farr and a number of others. I ask you to join with me uh, in this endeavor. I think that together we can completely do this. 
I think that as long as we agree to tackle big problems and, and ignore political issues, we can do this. Thank you. I'd be honored to have your vote. Hello, I'm Daniel Beckett, and I'm running for Supervisor, 2nd District. I'm a lifetime local resident, uh, 48 years in Coralitos. I've had family in the area since the 1920s, attended local public schools, went to Cabrillo College. I've been self-employed as a uh, general building contractor for 17 years, specializing in small remodels and repairs. I've been uh, involved with the community for many years. I've volunteered for many efforts. I work with the community in Watsonville to prevent their water supply from being fluoridated. I also worked with people to prevent the adoption of the Coralitos Plan in Coralitos, which would have changed the rural character of Coralitos forever. I also attended many of the meetings in regards to the Aptos Village Plan, and unfortunately that plan is going to move forward, and I think people will be very unhappy with how that turns out. Uh, my main platform position is I want to represent the people in the second district. I fear that there's uh, not a lot of representation going on in the county, and I want to represent people. They pay my salary, I want to represent them. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is that when I, uh, when I went down to file my paperwork, myself and every other candidate was what had to take a oath to the U.S. Constitution to protect it and defend it, and I take my oath very seriously. I think that's important for people to know. Um, I, would join, I will join with Supervisor Caput in taking a 25% salary reduction, and I want to see this money go toward the roads. A lot of politicians, I don't, I'm not a politician, but a lot of people talk about fixing the roads, and I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is and put my salary toward fixing the roads. I will not tolerate any nepotism or political cronyism in office. This has been a problem over the years at county government. And uh, when I'm elected, I will, I will take a common sense approach to county government. And I will be a full-time representative, and I have no intentions of seeking higher office or using my position as a stepping stone to achieve higher office. Uh, please visit my campaign website, www.beckettforsupervisor.com, or you can call me directly, 722-9403, because I know people will have questions. So uh, please, uh, I would ask for your vote on June the 5th, and uh, thank you for watching. Communities of Aptos, La Selva Beach, Corralitos, Capitola, and the city of Watsonville, my name is Antonio Rivas, and I'm running for county supervisor. My qualifications to be your representative, I am a two-year uh, term mayor and vice mayor for the city of Watsonville and eight years with the city council. Also, as an elected official, I've been involved with the transportation, the Santa Cruz County Transportation Commission, uh, the uh, uh, Santa Cruz uh, County Arts Council, also be part of the Pajaro Valley Unified School District Bank Committee, and part of the Metro Board, and many others. I had 35 years in the public education as a high school and middle school counselor, resource teacher, and coordinator of different educational programs. At the same time, be a coach with the girls' softball team and the Little League baseball team. My wife, Marisa, a registered nurse, married for 42 wonderful years and raised three wonderful uh, caring children. As your county supervisor, I will bring new ideas and vision in order to bring better paying jobs to our county. I will advocate to provide tax incentives for our local businesses and our ag industry. I will continue to ensure the services for our seniors and our youth who are our future. I will work in the county general plan to have a balanced economic development plan in order that we continue to allocate the resources for, needed for public safety, community services, parks and recreation programs, and others. I will coordinate with our educational institutions in order to improve the education opportunities for our students. I will make changes on the, on the county infrastructure, uh, infrastructure plan to fix our streets, our sidewalks, have more bike lanes, fix our roads, bridges that we have done in our city of Watsonville. I will make sure to listen and meet you, the taxpayers, so I can continue to be careful with, with your money and at the same time be transparent on how we allocate your money. If, if you elect me, I will cut 
20% of my county supervisor's salary in order to support our county services. I'm a person with experience, government and education that will make our county to go forward. So I ask on June 5th, you carry in vote for Antonio Rivas. Por favor, voten el 5 de junio por Antonio Rivas. Gracias. Thank you. Hello, I am Rich McKinnis, but some of you might know me better as the beer tender from the Seabreeze Tavern. I am running for the county supervisor in the second district because I know I can fix our county government based on my own personal experience with it. I have owned and operated the Seabreeze Tavern since 2005 and through the course of buying, restoring and running my small business, I've been caught in several of the county's revenue traps that I believe are counterproductive and go against our residents' wishes. Those wishes are that our small businesses are the backbone of our community because we eat, drink, shop, and socialize at these small businesses run by our friends and neighbors. And because of these extra fees imposed by our county, our small businesses have to charge higher prices to survive and this drives them out of business as their customers go to national chains with lower prices. You can see the proof all around our county with all the empty storefronts that used to house small businesses and this also deprives our local residents of much needed jobs as well. When elected, I will work hard to eliminate these revenue traps for our small businesses and help them to thrive instead of choking them with our county's red tape. I will also work hard to help our struggling homeowners dealing with our county's expensive permit process and red tags, as well as the illegal foreclosure tactics by the same banks we bailed out in 2008. Feel free to drop by the Seabreeze Tavern and speak with me in person any Friday, Saturday, or Sunday after 6 p.m. Thank you for your vote. Hello, I'm Bruce McPherson, candidate for the nonpartisan office of 5th District County Supervisor. I'm a fourth generation Santa Cruz County native, born in the 5th District, and respectfully ask for your vote on June 5th. This is a critical time in county government. So we're seeing the biggest shift in government operations since Proposition 13 was passed in 1978. With realignment upon us now, more responsibilities are being shifted from the state to the county government. Many people came to me and said, with my experience, knowledge of the issues, and the personal contacts that I have, that I will be, have a positive influence in seeing that the 5th District in Santa Cruz County gets its fair share of services at this time of change. Voters in the 5th District have been very supportive in electing me twice to the California State Senate and twice to the California Assembly. I was recognized as the most independent and moderate vote in the legislature. I served as California Secretary of State for two years after being confirmed unanimously by every voting Democrat in the legislature as well as every Republican. I was called a consensus builder and a problem solver, as one who listens to all sides before coming to a conclusion. Prior to my years in the legislature, I wrote news articles and editorials for the Santa Cruz Sentinel about 5th District and Santa Cruz County issues for 26 years. I know your needs and wants. I have walked every precinct in the 5th District since the first of the year, taking, talking to you, many of you personally. Your concerns range from having adequate public safety and upgrading our road system to protecting our environment and improving our economy. I've received endorsements of Sheriff Phil Wolwack and the County Deputy Sheriff's Association, many elected members of the Santa Cruz and Scotts Valley City Councils, Fire Protection Leaders Sam Robustelli, C. Standers, Ken Boynton, Distinguished Environmental Leaders, Planning Commissioner Renee Shepard, Jack O'Neill, Gary Griggs, and Denzel Varado, Deputy Park Ranger of Big Basin. The senior coalition and community leaders such as businessmen Mark, Mike Scarborough and Gail michaelis Al of Planned Parenthood. A long list of my supporters can be seen on our website. We can offer economic opportunity and protect our environment because our economy is based on appreciation of our natural resources. The county needs to streamline its building permit process and develop a system so new businesses can cut through the red tape and create jobs. I have led numerous nonprofit agencies in Santa Cruz County. We need to support the Human Care Alliance, whose 50 agencies provide efficient health and human care services. Thank you very much. Vote for Bruce McPherson on November 5th. My name is Eric Hammer and I'm running for 5th District Supervisor. I am committed to my, to my community. I am fourth generation. I have been involved in civic 
participation in the last 15 years. I'm elected to the Boulder Creek Parks and Rec Board of Directors for the last eight. I've had the, the ability of working with the community to build three parks and, and improve our infrastructure. I am currently board president of Boulder Creek Business Association. I serve on Mountain Community Resources Community Advisory Board. I currently sit on Community Bridges Board of Directors. I started and founding president of Youth First. Just to name a few of the organizations that I have been part of in the, in the San Lorenzo Valley and within the 5th District. I was raised with the philosophy of community spirit and civic duty. Uh, as a child, I remember walking the scenic riparian corridors, picking up garbage, going through the water, the headways of the San Lorenzo Valley River. Um, I understand the importance that leadership shows. There are three main issues that are affecting our community, three that I am using it as a platform. That is to protect our environmental resources, which is our riparian corridors and streamways, whether it be the San Lorenzo Valley River, Carbonero Creek, Bean Creek, all these areas. We need to improve our county services. We need to strengthen resources for our children and families, such as the preservation of the libraries and the library system and outreaching library system. It's extremely important. I have the support of my community. I have been endorsed by the Democratic Central Committee, the Democratic Women's Club of Santa Cruz. I have been endorsed by Bill Monning and Assemblyman Luis Alejo. I have the support of local leadership, such as every member of the San Lorenzo Valley Water District. I have several fire board members. And more importantly, I have the support of my family. I look forward to obtaining your goal, I mean your vote, in June. Thank you very much. Hi, thanks for watching. My name is Bill Smallman. I'm running for County Supervisor for the 5th District, and you must be watching Community TV. I'm a big supporter of Community TV. I used to be a member and a wannabe filmmaker. And um, anyway, the reason why I'm running is I feel that I'm, I'm providing a difference between um, obviously my competitor is a very serious career politician, and I sort of see I wanted to provide sort of a different uh, candidate opportunity for voters because I feel that I'm providing something that's more concrete specifically as what I would address if I got elected. And more than just the, the sort of the boilerplate um, it, list of issues that my competitors have provided you. And my competitor um, really touts his, his, his experience and really it's an experience of failure. Um, you know, basically the state of California is in the absolute worst condition that it's ever been in. So anyway, but my background is civil engineering. I've had uh, over 23 years ex experience building infrastructure improvement projects and I think this will be very valuable on the board because this is a huge issue with the county and also, also with the, I'm also a very much an environmentalist and I grew up watching Jacques Cousteau, et cetera, and I'm very passionate about the environmentalists, but to a certain degree, I'm trying to walk the fine line of environmentalism and also economic development, which I'll talk about in a minute. That's the one thing, is I only have the one specific goal. I want to create a board of economic development consisting of entirely very talented business professionals, and I think it'll be a very big hit with community TV. I believe that um, everybody's really interested about, it affects your life so much about what businesses are being created around the county because it creates jobs. We are part of the environment, so a healthy economy is very important also to have, and, but it's a very tricky path to follow. This board of uh, uh, economic development would basically consist of w uh, w uh, one person that's a business talent from each district and they promote uh, um, business expansion and growth and um, they would also support voc vocational training in schools and they'd also be a research team to invite outside businesses to relocate to Santa Cruz County. Bottom line is to try to increase the economy in Santa Cruz County 
and also they would review with the county to make the county more customer friendly, more efficient, and also they can inform the Public Works Department of infrastructure improvement projects that would help the county. I think it'd be very helpful. It's a very specific goal that I will do. Please vote for Bill Smallman. Thank you.